What's going on guys, this is Sam, and there have been a number of really interesting reports that have come out over the past few days. One from Minshika talking about the Apple car and Apple AR glasses coming sometime in the 2020s, which is absolutely crazy. Another one from Digitimes talking about the 2018 iPhones, a new MacBook probably coming this September, and also the future of the iPad mini line, which is really interesting. As always, there's a lot to talk about, so let's go ahead and jump in. I wanna start off today by talking about the Digitimes report. Now Digitimes over the past year has not said a ton about the 2018 iPhone lineup or even Apple's plans for the future in general. So I would take all of this with a grain of salt as you should with any other rumor that you hear, but there's some interesting info here. First off, they say a new $1,200 MacBook is coming in September. Now, up until this point, I thought Apple would be holding two events in the fall, one in September for like the new iPhones, new iPads, maybe, uh, but certainly new iPhones and Apple Watches. And then a second event in October or November, really focusing on likely new iPads and certainly new Mac. We're hearing a new Mac Mini is coming. Apple just updated the MacBook Pro, but we're going to be seeing new iMacs. And uh, also, like the MacBook Air, has sort of been in this weird place where Apple sells it still, but it hasn't been updated seriously in a really long time. And speculation rumors say that this new $1,200 MacBook, lower price, not the highest end laptop, but still there to compete with some Windows alternatives, could be maybe taking the place of the MacBook Air line. We don't know a ton about this computer. Uh, Digitimes does say it's going to have a KB Lake processor inside will likely have a retina display as well, according to other sources, but we still don't know much about this mystery new MacBook that Apple's been working on for quite some time. After talking about this new $1,200 MacBook that is said to be coming in September, Digitimes goes on to discuss the three new iPhone models. These are the hottest commodity everyone in the leaks and rumors game for Apple has been reporting that Apple is going to release three new iPhones in just around a month. Sometime this fall, almost certainly in September at a special event then, there's going to be the iPhone 10 Plus. Huge 6.5 inch OLED screen and a 6.1 inch LCD iPhone 9 with a 6.1 inch LCD screen and then a 5.8 inch second generation iPhone 10. You've heard that from me literally a thousand times at this point and you're going to continue hearing it until Apple actually announces all three of these phones pretty soon. Now what's interesting is that in the report Digitimes just says announce three new iPhones in September. There's actually been a couple of reports from a few weeks back saying that the 6.1 inch LCD iPhone 9 specifically that's said to come in a ton of different colors be priced around $700, may not actually be shipping until October is the first rumor I think that we heard, uh, and the second rumor said November. So we could see another delay on one of the big iPhones this year, just like Apple did with the iPhone 10 in 2017. Supply constraints are always an issue when a new iPhone comes out, or generally they're a pretty big issue. Right now, I think it's safe to say that the 6.1 inch LCD iPhone 9 could be delayed. We don't know for sure yet, but a number of sources have said that the two OLED iPhones, second generation iPhone 10 and iPhone 10 Plus, going for around 900 and 1,000 dollars respectively, should still be coming this September. So if you want a new iPhone, those two will be almost certainly available for sure. One thing that this Digitimes report doesn't touch on though is Apple Pencil support on the iPhone. This is a very general statement that they made about the three new iPhones. They didn't share any new details that we hadn't really heard before, but another source, Economic Daily News now, has reported, so two sources now, reporting that Apple Pencil support is coming to at least two of the new iPhones this year, likely the two OLED models, second generation iPhone 10 and the iPhone 10 Plus. I think Apple has to find ways to justify that higher price tag other than just the screens look really good and the cameras are really good. Now, in the same report from Digitimes, we also got some information about AirPower. I've been talking about this more and more lately. It's Apple's upcoming wireless charging mat that they actually announced around a year ago back in September of 2017. It is finally said to be available in September. Digitimes is reporting this, Bloomberg is reporting this, and I believe a couple of other sources as well are reporting the same thing. AirPower is finally, I think, just around the corner after we thought it would launch in the springtime or even during the summer. It's still not here. It should be coming for everybody this fall. Apple has apparently solved the issues that they were running into with overheating and the way the coils were aligned. Digitimes also provide some very, very specific pricing. They say that this is going to retail from 161 to 193 US dollars. We had heard $150 from Love iOS the other day. Uh, 150 sounds very reasonable to me, but I could see Apple going up to maybe 159. Uh, but I find the range of 161 to $193 very interesting. Like, how does an analyst come up with that very specific range? I don't know. I'm sure it's going to be sub 200, maybe a little bit more than 
than 150. I, I think that is a very safe range to guess on, uh, but we still don't know the pricing for sure. Like it could be 150, it could be 200, it could be somewhere in between. The same report also goes on to talk about the iPad line. Not only the iPad Pros, but the iPad Mini as well. And the iPad Mini isn't a product that we've heard anything about for about two or three years now. Apple hasn't really touched it. The iPad mini 4, for whatever reason, costs more than the $329 iPad and has outdated specs in nearly every single way. I don't know why Apple still sells the iPad mini 4. I don't know why they haven't done just a slight spec boost, but according to Digitimes, the iPad mini line, Apple has no further plans for in the future, or at least as of right now. I think if Apple had any plans for the iPad mini line, this would be the year to update the iPad mini. It's already severely outdated, leaving it on your site, which Digitime says the iPad mini 4 will continue to be sold as part of the 2018 iPhone lineup doesn't make any sense. Like if you're looking to buy an iPad mini at this point, I do not think any iPad mini is worth it. They're so slow and so outdated. I just don't think you'll be super happy with the purchase. You're welcome to go ahead and try it, but the iPad mini 4 is not very fast at all right now. However, there is great news for the iPad Pro lineup. They cooperate here what we've been hearing for new iPad Pros. Edge to edge display is going to be happening. I'm not sure if they mentioned Face ID, but Face ID is an expected feature here. Touch ID said to be next, and they're going to be incredible. One device coming in at an 11 inch display, probably around the same size as the 10.5 inch iPad. And the 11 inch iPad Pro coming out later this year is actually gonna take the spot in Apple's iPad lineup of the 10.5 inch iPad Pro uh, from 2017. And on top of the 11 inch model, there's also gonna be a 12.9 nine inch model, just like we have right now. But once again, with the edge to edge display, a lot of the iPhone 10 features that I cannot wait to see on an iPad. Apple's done some great work with iOS 12 in general, making it really great on the iPad, introducing swipe gestures, relocating control center. I'm so excited for the new iPad Pros this year. Looking at these renders, they are absolutely incredible. I've talked about my excitement in the past. I cannot wait to go hands-on with one of these uh, and unbox them for all of you. So of course, stay tuned for that video. Now, did you Times isn't the first company to report that two new iPad Pros are coming. We've heard about that for a while now. There was actually a leaked icon inside of iOS 12 that shows an icon of an iPad with a nearly edge-to-edge -edge display. Looks incredible, so Apple is definitely working on this. But this report from Digitimes also talks about a new 18-watt power brick that Apple is shipping. Instead of USB-A on here, it's gonna be USB-C. So it looks like all the 2018 iPhones are going to have a lightning to USB-C cable and USB-C power bricks, and likely the two new iPad iPad Pro's 11 and 12.9 inch models are also gonna have new power bricks and likely new lightning cables with USB-C on the other end shipping the box as well. So Apple's doing a pretty dramatic shift here from USB-A to USB-C. It's gonna be really annoying considering I think most of the industry still is shipping with their computers and their tablets with USB-A ports, uh, but Apple is going to USB-C for the other end of the lightning cable this year, which is gonna be interesting. So that was the bulk of the Digitimes report. So many exciting products coming in September. I'm very excited to see if Apple does announce the new MacBook, what happens with the iPad mini when we see the new 2018 iPhones. But an even more interesting report was one from Min Chico talking about two very futuristic Apple products, products that I'm gonna be talking about now that we will not see for at least two to three years at the very earliest. We're talking about Apple augmented reality glasses and then the Apple car. Apple is still said to be working on Project Titan. This is their autonomous driving vehicle project that they started back in 2014. Haven't heard a lot about it lately. It's extremely, extremely secretive. They're probably working on a lot of first party tech that will go into this car that they do not want their competitors to know about. Minjiko says that this car is going to come sometime between 2023 to 2025. So that is five, six, seven years uh, down the road still, which is a very long time from now. So we will not be seeing the Apple car or hearing a ton about it, I don't think, until probably two or three years ahead of release. So that's very far down the road. There's been some crazy concept images. They're cool, but something more realistic, something that's coming soon is the Apple augmented reality glasses. they built on probably AR kit 2.0. Like I'm sure they're working on it right now. It's gonna allow you to look at things and see them differently. Kuo says these are coming in 2020. 
2020, which is only about a year and a half down the road. So if Apple actually hits that launch date, it's gonna be crazy. There have been some very interesting concept images, but I also just don't have much information to share here because they're augmented reality glasses. We know that, we know they're coming, we just don't know much about them. So as time goes on, I'll be sure to keep you updated on both Apple Air glasses and the Apple Car. Of course, as we get closer to September, I'm sure we will see more 2018 iPhone leaks, 2018 iPad leaks, Apple Watch Series 4 leaks, and uh, there's just so much exciting stuff happening right now. I can't wait to continue talking about it going forward. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, smash the subscribe button, smash the comment button. That's all for now. I've been Sam, I hope you're doing great, and I'll talk to you in my next video.